102 years ago today, the 19th Amendment was ratified, giving most women the right to vote. And one of the most vocal leaders in that important movement lived right here in Indianapolis. Our Samantha Johnson is live downtown this morning with the legacy May Wright Sewell left behind. Good morning, Sam. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, Julia. So May started countless organizations for women and arts and culture during her time here in Indianapolis, and that includes the Propylaeum here on Delaware Street. This organization is 134 years old, but it still prides itself on fighting for the rights of women. The Propylaeum itself, it's Greek, it means gateway. And this is that gateway. Just inside the doors of this 100-year-old building, History marks every room. More than a century ago, the Propylaeum was founded as a place for women to gather, led by activist May Wright Sewell. Here's one of the paintings of May. She saw what other organizations were doing in other states and thought we can organize here. They, they created a space where women could come together and they could plan and they could work towards leadership in a time when women weren't supposed to do any of that kind of stuff. Executive Director Allie Brown says Indiana was the first state in the country to form an organized group to fight for a woman's right to vote, a fight that was led by May. This is actually, I love this picture. This is the last picture that was in, of the last meeting at the old prop lamp. The women who are ready to you know, fight for our rights. It's pretty amazing to actually get to see their faces. The 19th Amendment was ratified 102 years ago today. I mean, we're only the granddaughters, some great granddaughters. 102 years isn't that far. May passed away less than a month before women had the right to vote on July 22nd, 1920. She would be proud of what was accomplished, but she would not be satisfied. And now women still use this space to make change and lead, honoring the decades of women who came before them. They were some of the most important women to grace Indiana at a time when Indiana was just finding itself. And as the halls of the Propylaeum fill with music and memories, Brown hopes these doors will continue to open for the women of Indianapolis. Now the Propylaeum is open to the public. You can actually schedule a tour during the day. The staff here just ask that you call first so they can be ready for you. And Julia, I can tell you that that video you saw was really just a glimpse of all of the history inside. So I highly recommend you make it down to Delaware Street if you can.